Hola, bienvenidos. I am Maestra Teacher and this is my Spanish channel for those people or persons who are trying to learn Spanish. Today we are going to focus our lesson on the vocabulary related to food. How do you call and name foods in Spanish? So stay tuned and let's learn and practice. Let's name first the places where you could find food. And the first one, of course, is a restaurant. Restaurant in Spanish is named restaurante. It's quite similar. Let's repeat. Restaurante. Good. We can also go and buy food at a supermarket, which in Spanish is called supermercado. Say it. Supermercado. Good. And of course, you can find food in the kitchen of your house. Kitchen in Spanish is cocina. Cocina. Say it. Good job. All right, let's go ahead and name the foods. I'm going to give you the basic ones from each food group, so at least you have a base on naming foods. Remember that in my class, the um, objective here is that you look, you listen, and then you repeat the words so you practice your Spanish pronunciation. Let's go ahead and start. Let's start with fruits. The first group is group of fruits. In Spanish, fruits, we call them frutas. Say it, frutas. Good. La manzana. La manzana. Say it. Good. Las uvas. Las uvas. Las naranjas. Las naranjas. Say it. Good. El limón. El limón. Good. La pera, la pera, las fresas, las fresas, el coco, el coco, se And we're going to talk about bananas in Spanish. There are many ways to call bananas depending on where country you're from. In Spanish, you can say las bananas. Just like in English, you will say bananas, las bananas. In other countries, they're called platanos, platanos. And in the Caribbean, in some places, they're called guineo, guineo. Again, you can call them bananas. Plátanos, guineos. Now let's talk about some vegetables. In Spanish, we call vegetables los vegetales. Vegetales. Say it. Vegetales. Los vegetales. Good. La lechuga. La lechuga. Lechuga. Say it. La ensalada. La ensalada. This means the salad. In Spanish, la ensalada. Say it. Good. El tomate. Tomate. Good. La zanahoria. La zanahoria. Say it. Zanahoria. Good. Now let's have a few of the meats, the meats group. Meats in Spanish are called las carnes. Las carnes. And we have el pollo. El pollo, chicken. El pollo, say it. El pollo, not polo, pollo. Say it. El pollo. 
We also have el pescado. Fish. El pescado. Say it. El pescado. Good. El pavo. Turkey. El pavo. Good. Los mariscos. Los mariscos. Seafood. Los mariscos. El bistec. This is steak or beef. El bistec. Say it. El bistec. And then the last one I'm going to cover has to do with pork. In Spanish, there are different ways to call a pork. You can say el cerdo. You can also say el puerco. El cerdo, el puerco. Okay? And in, uh, some people say el cochino, but that's more like expressing when you are a pig for some reason, something you're doing uh, nasty or dirty. Okay? But usually, el cerdo, el puerco. Okay? Now let's do our favorite and my favorite part, desserts. Desserts in Spanish are called los postres. Los postres, that's how we call that food group, los postres. We have, ice cream can be called two ways. El helado, el helado. Remember, H has no H, it's just silent. El helado. Some people also call this El mantecado. El mantecado. We also have cookies. Las galletas. Las galletas. No galletas. Galletas. Say it. We also have candy. Dulces. Dulces. Los dulces. And of course, we have cake in Spanish. Many different places call cake a totally different way, depending where you go. If you are in Mexico, they call it un, el pastel. If you're in another place, they can call it la tarta o torta. Or if you're in the Caribbean, in Puerto Rico, they call it el bizcocho. So it depends on where you are going. It could be again, pastel, Tarta, torta, bizcocho. Any of those, it depends where you're going. So you can ask uh, a person from there to find out how you call that one correctly in their country. Other foods are called the following. El queso, cheese. This is familiar if you've been to Mexican restaurants here in America. El queso, say it. We have eggs, huevos, or los huevos, and if it's only one, el huevo, el huevo, no, huevo, H doesn't have a sound, huevo. We can also have rice in Spanish, el arroz, el arroz, double R, so R, arroz, good. El pan, bread, this is for any kind of bread. El pan. El pan. That one's easy. Say it. Good. La pasta. Pasta. Butter. La mantequilla. La mantequilla. Quilla. Say it. La mantequilla. Okay. El azúcar. In Spanish, sugar. Azúcar. Say it. Azúcar. And if you are in Spain, you have to say it with this azúcar. Good. Salt and pepper. La sal, la pimienta. La sal, la pimienta. And one more, we can say 
French fries, papas fritas. Papas is fries, potatoes, papas fritas. Papas fritas. Now the last group that we're gonna discuss and learn are the drinks. In Spanish, we call them las bebidas. Say it, las bebidas. Okay, we have agua, el agua, water, agua. We have coffee in Spanish, el café, with accent in the last one, café. Okay, no café, café. Okay, we have milk in Spanish. La leche, leche, say it, leche. We have tea in Spanish, el té, very easy, té. When you want to drink a soda in Spanish, you say, El refresco. El refresco. Some people also call it la soda the same way or gaseosa from gas, gaseosa. But you can say el refresco. Okay, and let's do one more juices. We call them jugos. Depending on the kind of juice, you say jugo de naranja or jugo de piña, pineapple, piña, okay? Finally, some sentences you can use when you're learning about foods. You can practice asking and replying which ones are your favorite foods. For example, I'm gonna ask you, what is your favorite food? In Spanish, we say, ¿Cuál es tu comida favorita? ¿Cuál es tu comida favorita? Say it. ¿Cuál es tu comida favorita? And then you reply, mi comida favorita es, and you can just put in there which one is your favorite food. For example, mi comida favorita es el pastel. Me gusta el pastel. What do you like? Me gusta la leche. Me gusta el jugo de naranja. That's the kind of way you can reply, okay? Or you can say, no me gusta, I don't like. No me gusta la lechuga. O no me gusta el tomate. So you can ask and practice uh, with the different food groups now on your own. Thank you so much for practicing with today's lesson. I hope to see you next time. Hasta luego. Please like and subscribe.